Welcome back to China Price Watch. In today's Money Matters, we're talking about the potential EU and China trade war. As the 21st Century Business Herald reported, the government collects a 25% import tax on luxury car imports to China. Also, they collect 17% on a value-added tax, 1% to 40% on a car emissions tax, and 10% to 40% on a consumption tax. All the taxes could reach 120% of the car value. What does this mean for Chinese consumers? An Audi Q7 retails for around $60,000 in the U.S. When it's sold in China, the final retail price is more than double that, at $133,000 U.S. dollars. Once the anti-dumping taxes are levied, Chinese consumers will have to pay even more. If the Chinese government were to levy anti-dumping taxes on European luxury cars, then it would first have to prove that those luxury cars are heavily damaging local car manufacturers. European car manufacturers have been selling their products at a very high price in China, but still dominated market shares. Due to Germany's reputation in China for creating high-quality cars, the market demand has been huge. European luxury car makers have been able to set the car prices at a much higher price than in other countries. This means that Chinese consumers have already been spending huge amounts on the cars. With high prices and high demand, lowering imported car prices for China's market would probably benefit Chinese consumers. It could lead to two major changes. One would be more spending money for luxury car buyers. The other would be the ability to compare domestic car prices to European ones. This would help car buyers keep up their egos while buying cheaper domestic vehicles. With all this in mind, it is hard to see how European cars would be considered dumped into China. Luxury products are not something that are typically dumped anywhere. They are often in demand worldwide at a high price. This would be considered by many to be the opposite of dumping. However, one possible take would be to look at the need for improved car sales in China, where there has been a lot of recent investment. The Chinese government would probably be wise to raise taxes on these imports just for the sake of increasing tax revenues. Since 1986 to today, the Chinese government has lowered the luxury car import tax nine times. Before 1985, the import tax was as high as 150 percent. Some domestic car manufacturers might believe that lowering European imported car prices would drag down the average price level of cars sold in China. This would then hurt the profit margins of all car companies. This seems rational, but what will determine the survival of domestic car companies won't just be imported car prices. It will likely be more valuable for them to improve production quality and brand image. To protect China's car market, the wisest move is to focus on the strengths of the domestic car market. This would both benefit Chinese consumers and improve domestic consumption. Don't go away, because up next for our question of the day, we'll hear if Beijingers think tax increases would help solve trade problems with the EU. Stay tuned.